Hello everyone, we are back now with Danganronpa, and this is episode 16. Can't believe we're already at 16 episodes. I know I keep saying this with each episode, but whatever. Okay, so this is episode 16. We are on chapter 3 now. As you all remember my last episode, we just met uh, Chihiro's alter ego on her, uh, uh, his laptop. I am so sorry. We're on the laptop, and poor Hifumi is like, Fantasy! Fantasy! My fantasy! <sighs> so I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Oh, that's right, that fantasy. I, I forgot about that part. Okay. He's talking about the whole sneaking a peek or whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, the only reason I care is because it's a good reference for creating figurines. A real live woman is useless to me, but looking at their naked floor <laughs> might be okay. Hifumi, you need therapy. No way. If the girls heard you say that, we'd all be dead meat for sure. Especially you. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it. Man, that was a nice bath. This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that! So in the end... That's what I figured. Huh? Huh? Actually... We were just saying in the bath how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Hmm. Y you're all so terrible to me! My entire existence! Everyone's so cold and mean! Even after I got presents for you all! Presents? Well now, well now, well now, well now! Hmm? Oh, have I got your attention? Boop, 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 boop. Then let's head to the gym where your presents await! See ya later! No questions! No dilly dallying! Get a move on and everything will become clear! Oh, um. What is it? What are you scheming this time? It would yeah. seem. He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Yep. I mean, why else would he call them to the gym, right? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However... It's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now... Correct. We have to just endure it. Come what may. I wish I was like as strong as Kyoko, honestly. Oh look! Those two beat us! With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Byakia, did you get here all... Did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that... <clears throat> Let me redo that. Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> <laughs> the same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. Oh, she's back to normal. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes. Seems kind of late to add into the mix. <laughs> what the heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. <sighs> okay. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well... Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then... Which means... Yeah, he's gonna pop out now. I mean, duh, we've been through this how many times? And why does Hifumi have such skinny legs? It doesn't make sense. I know that's random for me to say, but... You guys? Like, if you noticed, he's got, like, real skinny legs. I'm like, how does that even work? I have no idea. It looks 
like everyone's here. So then, let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to lose to you ever again. Come on. Boop, 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 boop. You don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the wish of the north wind to get you all moving. <laughs> but sometimes you got to use the sun, of sun to light the fire under someone's butt. Without further ado, I give you this! Ten million dollars! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowy wow wow, am I right? Yeah, I ain't falling for it, Monokuma. So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... <laughs> it's not nearly enough. Well, for you it might not be, but... It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Hmm. But, but... What are you saying? There's no way we kill each other for money. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't either. Byakuya said it's not enough, so if it was more, he probably would. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase, purchase a person's life. Uh, um... You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap. We're serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. I can't wait! I can't wait! The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. <laughs> and he's gone. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Yeah, but don't touch it, it might explode. Um... Th there's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? <laughs> Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standards. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having the money problem. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, I'm telling you! <laughs> Hifumi, what about you, you? I mean, with that money, he could buy his own anime room and go to all the cons he wanted to, but, like, he's stuck here, so... You know nothing! I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Yeah! <laughs> then... Hey... Just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> a poor Toko. Uh, uh, ugly? <laughs> Don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of this game. Oh goody, it's the nighttime bell. <clears throat> this is Ab. Yeah, I'm yeah. The door. Okay, then. We get it, Monokuma. It's nighttime. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to the open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about the whole money thing. Got it? Good, then let's break. Hmm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Oh, I, I almost forgot about him because he's been so quiet. Like, I almost forgot about my poor baby. Hmm. Right. I feel so bad I almost forgot about him. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. 
I told myself that, but deep in my heart I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time, about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time... This time it's different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp into. Onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. Little kids have it so easy! Cause they can put Lil in front of their name, and right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute! Well, fine then! I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma! See? Just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least, a, like, 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Lils would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment. Oh, hit and run, oh, death tax, oh, great depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter. Yeah, okay. Our dreams are expanding, ding, ding. Sure, Monokuma, sure. And it's morning. Hooray. He keeps that lint roller by his bed. I just don't know. Good morning, everyone. Get rich. Yeah, okay. Can I go back to bed? Well, then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Yeah, let's go to the dining hall. Make sure no one's killed anyone yet. Do I need to talk to anyone? I'm just gonna go in straight to the dining hall unless I see someone I like. No? Okay, let's go. Onward! To the dining hall for some food and coffee. Could it be? So, the people here today are the same as yesterday, just us seven. <sighs> Byaki and Toko are lost cause, but. It looks like Taka has decided to stop coming for good, too. It's like he's just given up. <laughs> for people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Yoko seemed to hesitate, but <sighs> it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh! I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? <laughs> Why isn't it clicking? Okay. Oh, um... Also, it's kind of lagging again. Oh, whatever. N no, it's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. Huh? Huh? Say what? Whatever. Let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. What? What? Jeez. Why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? Because he wants alter ego for himself. We ate breakfast in a rush, then headed back to our rooms. Yay, free time. What should I do today? Well, first order of business is to go spend those coins that I earned, so... and making me run into poles. God damn. Okay. Like, Makoto wants to live and not die from a pole, thanks. Because you can't exactly put a pole into the trials. So... You know. Okay. 
Okay, time to spend some coins. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay. Oh, damn, I have 138? Holy crap, okay. Oh. I keep scrolling up when I need to scroll down. Whatever. I know how to play this, I swear. Oh, I got a coin for five coins. Okay! I'm just putting a random number. I'm just like, eh. Is that that same book I got? No, it's a different book. I think. I don't know. Glasses! Here, Togami, do you need new glasses? Maybe it'll help you see the turd in your butt. <laughs> I'm just kidding! Should I cut that out? I'm not sure. Oh, good, a tree! Oh, that was gonna give me an extra thing. Whatever. <coughs> More glasses for a Togami! And an extra present. It looks like the turd that came out. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. I'll let you guys let your imagination run wild with that one. So, let's just say it involves Togami. Oh, good. Another. Will I get another turd? <laughs> no, it looks like a snack. Unlike Togami. <laughs> I'll be here all night. <laughs> A weird looking costume. Well, not really. I don't know. <sighs> that looks like curry. I wonder who would like that. Box. Oh, I know who would love that. Maybe I should go see her. I know who would love the boxing gloves. Oh. Didn't I get that before and I gave it to Chihiro? I can't remember. I'll probably stop at like 50 and then leave. And leave it at that. Ooh, I haven't seen that before. Oh, I don't think I've ever gotten that before. I'm gonna go check that out after I'm done here. Another thing that looks like a turd. Togami, are you in this machine? Because I swear to God, I don't want your turds. Y'all can unsubscribe now if you want. I'm kidding. Like, if, if y'all want to unsubscribe, go ahead. If you're tired of me, like, grouping Togami with turds, it's totally understandable. Am I gonna stop? No, probably not. Okay, I'll toss in 10 and then be done. A dandelion! Oh, that, that, yeah, that never ending one. Okay. Should probably get going. And let's see. What's the menu? But okay. I totally passed that. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, potato chips, okay. Royal curry. It's made with expensive blah blah blah, okay. I'm not gonna, like, read that right now. Ooh, okay. The scarab was considered to be sacred by many ancient societies, but not today is the dung beetle. Hey, um... Yasu Hero, I found something for you. You know how you like ancient stuff and whatnot? Well, here you go. Makes you want to throw a thousand. Yeah, I'm going to go give those to. Wait, have I given these to her before? I don't think I have. They say that wearing these while performing incantations will help you better speak with the target of your spell. That might work better for Toko than Togami. I don't know. Maybe I'll save those for her. Because they both wear glasses, and you know, I probably won't be spending a lot of time with Togami. Who knows? We'll see. 
but I'm probably gonna go see soccer and I also kind of want to see if I can talk to Kyoko because like I've never really talked to her a lot and like she's become one of my favorite characters so I kind of want to like oh right I should check the map where everybody's at because I want to go find soccer so okay let's see Nobody's, like, anywhere. Oh, okay. I'm gonna teleport. So. We found Sakura. Okay. So. We're around here in the halls. There she is. Okay. Hey, Sakura. What's going on? Hey. Makoto, I... <laughs> Actually, never mind. So what did you want? Hmm, should I talk to Sakura for a while? Of course. Well then. You know, Makoto. <laughs> you seem a little thin for a man. I love her. How about I help you bulk up a bit? Love you too, Sakura. Sakura subjected me to a harsh borderline cruel training session. No, I love her. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Of course. Got just a thing. Come on, don't lag. What'd you like to give her? Better not give her the wrong thing, I swear to God. Okay. I would be so mad at myself. <laughs> I never imagined a boy would want to give me anything. I'm a little embarrassed, but also very happy. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Hmm. My post-training break is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Come on, work here. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Mm. Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of, yes. I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? Huh. I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It's also th that I can get stronger after all. And I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? Mm. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as, a cha as its champion. <laughs> That's one heck of a legend. Hmm. My father was my master, and my every waking moment was spent with him learning the fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began a course. But before long, they were no match for me. Y you mean, you actually started beating people like that? Hmm. I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up that transitions in that transitions into grappling in a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Stand-up fighting, grappling, and a strong ground game. That could only be... Isn't it mixed martial arts? You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. It's the most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I don't want to just be the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well. No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? <laughs> Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time, if the opportunity presents itself. Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? Yay! Oh, okay. I headed back to my room for a little while. Still got some time, what should I do? Oh. Huh? Sounds like someone's here. 
Right as I was about to leave. <laughs> okay. Oh! It's Taka! T Taka! Uh, uh. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? Uh, uh. He's still alive? N no, not quite. Hmm. Let me see. I want to talk to him. T Taka? The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. But even so... I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Alright. Darn, I was hoping to go see Kyoko, but that's fine. I can do it another- Oh, she's right here! Hello, Kyoko! We're not doing anything, I swear! Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka, standing behind me. Y yeah I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well then, I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but it maybe it was just my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> totally not heading for the bathhouse. Where, where, where? Okay, let's go. Toko, don't say anything. I see you in the corner of my eye. Okay. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. Uh, uh. How do I talk to him? Uh, oh, um... Well, you just tell me what you want to say, and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Hmm. Please. Uh, okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then... Aw, so, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk right now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. <laughs> hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Um... Master told me how close Taka and Manda had, Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. Oh... And what appeared next was... Ah! You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? <laughs> Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. Oh, th that's... So... I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation, using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Ha ha ha. Taka? Uh, uh. Oh yeah. It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? <sighs> Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. Th that, that's nice, Taka. <laughs> and he's awoken. T Taka? <laughs> Who the 
fudge is Taka. <laughs> Your eyes. F you. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused a kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. Yeah. Hurrah! I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt! He still cannot curse, I love it. Uh, okay, Taka. J just calm down. What? I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's... that's not my name anymore. Yeah. I'm me. Yeah. I am me! Taka let out... Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. H hey, Taka, hold on! And I took off after him, but someone stood in my way. Uh, uh, hi, 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 Kyoko! Totally wasn't doing anything with the laptop, I promise! <laughs> As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? K Kyoko! Oh, um, no, see, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. S sorry Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Uh, okay, can we talk later? Okay, bye. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. Poor Makoto. Oh, well, it happens. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freak out? I'm seriously worried about him. And the nighttime bell. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's have such soon the Okay then. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, we get it. It's nighttime already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time for sleep. Oh great, another monic from the theater. You want to know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day, when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just bought the latest big, they just bought the latest big budget video game. You mean Final Fantasy VII Remake? <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not the latest actually. I liked what it was though. They sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me, I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. Okay, that's nice. But that was kind of pointless. So whatever. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to... Okay, okay, we get it. All right, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went on ahead. Went on ahead? To where? Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Uh, okay, hero. Bath? Alright, we have to talk to Alter Ego. I guess, or something. Okay. <coughs> the heck was that? Someone help! Fumi, what's going on? <coughs> Makoto, save me! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? <coughs> She's trying to kill me! 
Ifumi pointed at... Kyoko. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? Okay, I don't think she really would, but... I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. <laughs> what were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. <laughs> Could he stop? My ears are hurting. Please don't kill me. Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. <coughs> I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. Yeah, well. What? I just want to hear him explain himself. Okay. Um, Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well... I just... I was just talking. However... Which was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I, I mean, you see... Talking to her was just so much fun, and I just... Uh, um... Whoa, okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Kifumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? <laughs> Aha! Bad Eye, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would ever fall in love, that? Well, Wait! It would seem... No way! Is this love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. <laughs> He had a wedding and everything. It was gross, man. How about that? In your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. It was real creepy. Like, good lord. You know nothing! Shut up! She's not a mannequin. She's an angel! She's a laptop. I feel as if... And she's also a he. And don't bother telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. <sighs> yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so, how did things end up like this? <laughs> well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. But but then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a wall design program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I, I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. How many times do we have to remind him Chihiro's a boy? Like, seriously. <sighs> and I'm sure Chihiro's alter ego is also a boy. I mean, that's just my guess. But she's definitely not a normal girl. She's not even a girl, good lord. What? Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Hifumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything about you, ha everything you have to teach me. I suppose. That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Fumi. Good lord. <laughs> it's like... That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face... Her personality, her voice, even the keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? I'm really freaked out. <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not... <clears throat> Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course, it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about, for what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information, that is all. I know that. I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless, or... You gotta be freaking kidding me! 
Jerks, I'm sitting here, listening to you guys jibber-jabber on about whatever. Yo! Oh, Taka, <coughs> are you back? <coughs> Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Uh, you? <coughs> Listen up, I'm me, got it! What the heck? Uh, you're who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kyo, Taka, and Mondo, so like Kyondo, I guess. That's our ship name, got it? I'm gonna stick a banana. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. What? Please don't. What the? What the heck kind of fusion is this? I'm scared. What's happened to you, Taka? Uh, actually, I told everyone what had happened the day before. Well then. So, because of what Alter Ego said to him. Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. G -g ghost? No, no th th there's no such thing. What are y'all whining about? Come on. What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Fumi. <laughs> yes? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but... F you. Bro belongs to me. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let anyone... <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again, budget an idiot! Oh no. I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? So it would seem. I can't withdraw! Mr. Ishimaru, since I had this opportunity, let me say this right now. That's it. I'm Destiny! Sure of it. Okay, Ifumi. Destiny has bound me and her together in a Gordian knot of true love. <laughs> well, me and him have been melded together in the. Could you stop screaming? Good lord. Well, me and him have been melded together in the white hot heat of friendship. Yeah, friendship and nothing more. Cough, cough. Uh, hey, come on, you guys. <laughs> Moron! Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points. Completely unforgivable! Well, I punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag! Oh. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. I mean, that's the most important thing right now, so like... Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me. You tell them, Sakura. <laughs> this is why I love her. What? Anyway. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I suppose. Yeah. Got it. So then... Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey! Are you sure it's okay to let them off the warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. Well, I trust her, so... After watching Ifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. More free time? Hooray! It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I have to just pull myself together. So what should I do the rest of my day? Actually, I might cut this off here, even if it's a little bit short. But, yeah. Anyways, hopefully next episode will be a lot longer than this, or, you know, semi-longer. But anyways, thank you all for joining me for yet another episode of Danganronpa. And we're getting further into this chapter, and... I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm excited to record more of this chapter and the rest of the chapters. So anyways, I hope you all take care. 